Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. And in today's video, I wanted to show you an excellent website uh, called userbenchmark.com. And with this website, uh, it will show you your, um, it sh it'll show you your uh, exact specific um, hardware that you have installed uh, in your computer. So as you can see from your processor, your video card, um, your hard drives, your memory, uh, even external drives, and it gives you the exact specifications. So this is one, that's one of the best features of it. If um, you're trying to find out exactly what you have as far as hardware goes, and you don't feel like pulling anything out, you can use this benchmark. And then it shows you how you compare, how your computer uh, ranks up to uh, other people who have benchmarked their entire computer. So you would go to this website, uh, you would do free download, you would uh, run the program, and once you open it up, it's just going to just hit run, and then it'll bring you to <coughs> this screen right here, and it shows you what components are going to be benchmarked, so your processor, your graphic, your graphics card, uh, your internal uh, hard drive, your memory, and any uh, external drives that you have, any external hard drives that you have, uh, and then just hit run. Uh, the whole process uh, would take about, uh, I would say, five minutes tops. And once it's complete, um, it's not installing the program onto your your computer. It's just once it finishes, it's going to bring you. It's going to open up a web page and show you where your computer um, stands against other computers and things that um, you really need to work on as far as your your computer goes. So here you get to see how bad my uh, you know, <laughs> to, as far as what user benchmark says, um, my computer is compared to a lot of other people's computer. Now mine does what it needs to do. The biggest thing I could work on would be my graphics card, and it even tells me that. So everything here is, um, you know, really basic uh, summary. is a is a very basic summary um, of all your hardware components and even your operating system. So it's saying. You know, I still use Windows 7 and saying, okay, hey, it's eight years old. Um, you know, maybe you should consider, you know, upgrading to Windows 10. Um, do, 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 do. Graphics card, 1.45 uh, percentile, which is terrible. So um, I really can't play. I've tried to play in a couple uh, 3D games, and it's, it's almost impossible uh, using the graphics card that I have. And... Do, 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 do. It shows you thing, you know, even has you know, very high background CPU. Um, I think that's, you know, I am running something else in the background right now as well, so that's probably not helping it. But regardless, um, so <clears throat> like I said, the big, the one really cool thing is it does show you um, your the absolute specific uh, specifications of uh, your hardware components. So. Um, so my exact processor, my exact video card, uh, where it ranks, my ranks terribly, you know, the hard drive that I have, which is really the only thing that's in a good percentile. <laughs> so other than that, uh, so here's an external hard drive, and it's even saying that's poor, um, and my, um, you know, the memory that I have. Now I think mine comes up unknown just because, um, you know, I have th four slots, and then three of them I have four gigabyte uh, RAM chips, and then the other one is one gigabyte. Uh, <coughs> this computer can handle 16, but I just had a, an open slot, and I found a gig of RAM and threw it in there. So um, you can save your results and all that good stuff. So if I see my bench and I see where I'm at, okay, you know, very poor, uh, terrible you know, excellent, very poor, very poor, blah, blah, blah. So the f we'll just use the example of the graphics card. So I'm like, okay, um, the graphics card is, uh, you know, pretty easy to switch out. Um, hopefully I wouldn't have to, hopefully I can find a graphics card uh, that's compatible with my computer uh, without having to buy a new power supply to, to power up the graphics card. Um, so I'm just going to click on the benchmark here and see if we can uh, compare it. So 
this is mine. Uh, we're going to compare alternatives here, and it even gives you uh, specific models. Uh, and if I was on a budget, uh, I would pick, you know, say I didn't want to spend more than a hundred bucks. Like a hundred bucks would be my max. Uh, I would find something in here, so 79, you know, that's roughly a hundred or less. And I think I saw 104 up here. I do like NVIDIA, so, but we'll look at the AMD. <clears throat> and then it compares my NVIDIA GeForce G. T610 to this uh, AMD RX 460, which doesn't even look like it needs to. Um, it doesn't even look like it needs uh, what you call an extra power supply, like a lot of high uh, graphics cards do. So I could say, okay, you know, roughly it's 104 dollars, and then we're comparing mine to this one. And uh, saying, okay, insanely faster effective speed, uh, frames per second is way better. Uh, multi, so everything is better. Um, so so text, uh, texture, detail, multi rendering, uh, and body calculation, blah, blah, blah. It's just, <laughs> if it's green and, and the percentages are that much better, then I would consider getting this. And from here, I can even, and if you do make an account with them, uh, you can log in and then start actually building uh, your new computer, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so, um, building the parts and then buying them uh, directly from here, or at least pointing you in the right direction. So I would say, okay, I want to get this card right here, uh, the uh, RX uh, 460. So I'll just click on buy. Do, do, do. And then it should give me a little list here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to look for a list of a uh, list of the prices here. So let's see. Buy 104, and then it kind of just brings me through. Um, you know what I would need, or just different websites on how much they cost and so forth. So as you can see to the left, uh, some of the uh, actual models have changed a little bit um, but we're just gonna stay with the top one here and I'd say okay one uh, do, do, do. so I say okay I want to find new egg uh, I want to spend $133 or whatever and I know from here uh, that I can use this because this is a pretty st uh, standard port here and it would definitely kill the video card that I have in there, which is pretty awesome. So, and I'll even show you the uh, the specs in here and so forth. Um, I'm, as I'm on the actual Newegg website, and so for me, I would want to find something that didn't need, uh, like I said, right, something where I wouldn't need to buy an extra power supply, or um, just to make sure that I have. Um, the a power supply that would actually run this so you definitely want to do your research as well uh, but just wanted to show you guys this site really cool for benchmarking your entire computer and just giving you an overall <coughs> an overall view on where your computer stands against um, you know against a lot of other people who have used uh, this website to um, you know <clears throat> just to see where everything stands so you know a lot of the stuff I can live with I can live with the C I don't really don't have a lot of speed issues but I can live with the CPU I can live with the hard drive I can live with my external hard drive for the time being and so another thing I would really want to now since my memory is unknown that's the only thing that came up unknown. Everything else is very specific. And like I said, I, I just think it's because of the type of memory that I did put in there. But everything else is very, very um, pinpointed. So, like I said, the one that I would really want to change is the NVIDIA graphics card. And, uh, you know, like I said, I would do the compare alternatives. And we'll just, we'll just do this again just for uh, shits and giggles here. We'll do whatever, $174 one. And it'll 
it'll just show, it'll just compare the one that you have installed to ones that are <laughs> you know available and I think for me any new any video card is going to be um, <laughs> is definitely gonna be faster than the one that I have right now so but um, but yeah that's about it um, and like I said if you do make an account with this then you can um, actually start building your uh, your new uh, your new computer with the website showing you you know exactly what you want to put in uh, how much everything's going to cost and and all that good stuff so um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, make sure you check out this website uh, userbenchmark.com it's fantastic and that's all I got for today thanks for watching <laughs>